everyone welcome again to nifemi combined space thank you so much for the previous engagement in all of my videos thank you for the comments thank you for the likes thank you for the subscription thank you so so much for everything as we all know that we are now in the ember months i want us to remember that we have to be thankful in everything that we do and give thanks to the almighty god for keeping us this far i want us to always remember and keep people that are in you know in distress those that they've kidnapped i want us to keep them in our prayers i want us to ensure nigeria in our prayers as well as we all know that there's like a flood and all of the you know the bad bad news that we're hearing that god should please help us calm the storm i also want to urge everybody to please be safe out there as things are very 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 you know real right now in the ember months please be accountable if you're going out send your addresses to somebody and just make sure that everyone like someone knows where you are and just be safe pray as much as you can um try to not walk alone if you're a lady or a guy always make sure that you are very aware of your environment and i hope that we will not have a reason to lose any of our loved ones even though our friends or anyone around us amen and let's go to today's topic guys 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 we're talking about love so today's topic is going to be love is a scam i'll tell you why i think love is a scam because yeah i'll tell you why so and i would now like to hear your reason why so first of all love is a definition we give it love the definition of love is personal for some love is kind for some love is blind for some love is bind whatever definition you give love is what love is to you now the definition is pr probably based on your experiences with life or how you think things have been or how you've seen things i think that determines the kind of you know definition that you give to love growing up i thought love was amazing Woo! i thought love was roses red color everywhere you know i thought love was <laughs> mm. melting just the way like i took a deep breath i thought i thought i thought love would just give you butterflies and just make you sway make your tummy ache in a very nice way all you know, this secondary school love where you're you know you're spending hours and hours with your boyfriend that was what i thought love is however <laughs> growing up i have you know i have like a better understanding which i'm still learning you know more about adulthood has re revealed that every love is conditional or transactional i'll tell you why like i said i think love was sweet and all of that growing up you i'm very sure we've all realized that love comes with its own burdens Love comes with troubles, love comes with disagreements, love comes with problems and problems and problems. I think love is just what we give it. Like I said earlier, for you, if you think love is money, if you're in a relationship with somebody and the guy, this guy doesn't treat you right, right? But as long as he has money, as long as the rubber is there, as long as there is bread, is is there stable you will never fall out of love i think because that is your definition of love i hope you understand what i'm trying to say for some people they think love is attention just give them attention even though you don't treat them as well as they should but as long as they're getting the attention they think they are loved now what i mean by transactional is when we are in love with someone we're in love with them because of something that we see in them you cannot tell me that somebody just walks up now and I'm just in love with the person. No, love is a process. Love doesn't just happen in hindsight. Do you get what I mean? Like it doesn't just happen in a blink of an eye. Love is something that happens over time. And love is due to, you know, the relationship. Well, okay. The communication process. Like it's, it's it, it goes to the, to the to basics here. Yeah? Which is a kind of communication you have with that person do you get what i mean so if you're communicating about and you think the most important to you the most important thing to you is money attention you know status 
or maybe sex if that is what your 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 best bets are on i think that is what your definition of love will be and that is what will work you know for you and um i think this explains why we fall out of love for people like when we look at our relationship works and you know I'm with this person and I love this person and I have a love language and I love say words of affirmation and that person doesn't really value words of affirmation and he, he just likes every love language and you're there you're pouring everything you're buying gifts you know quality time acts of service words of affirmation to that person and you guys are, you know, in a relationship and you're dating. And over time, you just keep lamenting that, ah, my words of affirmation now. You don't used to tell me things that I like now. And this person is just, you know, you know, nonchalant, you know, very insensitive and all of that, you know. And you're airing your expressions like, oh, when you are, this is that I'm doing. I don't like it. I don't like it. You know, it get to a stage where you probably, you know, be tired. You get tired. You get fed up of you know expressing yourself and you, you probably might lead to a, a breakup or a melt meltdown which eventually is going to break fast you know and all of that so i just think that people need they need to pay attention to the other person's you know um um values in a relationship other person's interests like the the love language is very very important i don't think we tend to speak about it as much because people just see it as an addition i don't think that should be an addition apart from communication i think the most important thing in a relationship that you're supposed to operate on is supposed to be the person's love language because that is how best you get to this person do you get what i mean like so if you're omitting the most important part that of something that they like and you're getting yours that is not fair that is not a balanced equation to me so i think that um love is transactional love is conditional and the only unconditional love that we have is from our mother and ultimately from the almighty god he loves us unconditionally our mothers loves us unconditionally as well um personally i think lack of progress and financial nonchalance drives me crazy in a relationship um because i feel like um relationships should be one of the things that drives you in this life because you having a partner should keep you in check right it should help you make better decisions with the togetherness and the teamwork i feel like it should evolve if at all not any it should get better at whatever you're doing so i think relationships should be one of the things that should make you become a better person now in a relationship if you're not taking your finances seriously or not just your finances let me let me, let me know everyone like go far if you're not taking your mental progress you know seriously and you're not taking the other person's needs seriously like you're being insensitive or you're just nonchalant <laughs> I ain't gonna have none of that over here. Like, <laughs> you have to know what you're doing, you know. I know what I'm doing. Do you get what I'm saying? So you're getting your own end of the bargain. And me, I should what? I should open mouth to breeze. No. I'm going to say this is how I'm feeling, how I'm feeling, how I'm feeling. Over time, I'll probably get tired of, you know, saying all of that. And that'll just be the end of it. So um, I think that we should all be very mindful of the other person's needs in a relationship and we should always remember that love is conditional the conditional is is the condition yeah is the condition that we are in it for if you're in a relationship for money when the money finishes the love we finish the love is a scam the love i don't i don't want to call it a facade but love is just something that helps you stick to someone love is it it's a decision love love is a choice yeah love is not something that just comes and goes that's why i think we were we, we've not gotten there yet personally i've not gotten there yet we've not gotten there yet we've not we've not there's no code to it but we've not hacked that thing that is making it like you had that hard shell that is there we've not hacked it yet i think until we, we realize that love is transactional and in a relationship or in love you need to give something to get something then i think we, we, we will still be here lamenting about all of these things that we're complaining about and the moment we understand that in a relationship you need to give something to get something 
and I think we'll under we we'll, we we'll, we will get somewhere. Then it will be it will be easier for us to you know just you know paddle our canoes and everything. Like I don't even know how to. I'm actually thinking about it now, and it's it's a bit of a it's a gray it's a it's a, it's a gray area. It's not black or white. It is not how we are thinking about it that it is yeah because there are times when um. I'm going to be in love with someone and most of the things that you value in your relationships like are almost non-existent in their relationship here yeah. but the thought of i don't know i think it's the choice of you choosing that person that just makes you stay and just makes you say okay i want to make this work but to be honest it is going to get to a point where you're going to look at yourself and say whoa <laughs> it's not working the forward is supposed to be forwarding. Why is it backwarding? Do you get me? And you're probably going to take a step back. And the moment you take a step back, I think that is just where everything either goes wrong or it gets better. Most of the time, it goes wrong. Because taking a step back is always you, you know, making an evaluation and you telling yourself that, no, you, 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 you deserve better than this and all of that. So I just think love is a scam because um, love just makes it sound nice. I think there should be another word though. There should be another word for it. Maybe like robodinho, sweet robodinho and bitter. Um, I don't know how to say it, but love just makes it sound easy. And it is not easy. And the more we make people understand that it is not easy, yeah, then maybe they will understand that you have to put in work. You have to put in effort to get to that, you know, to get to that point where you're enjoying the nice things. Because I think, um, Long, love is longevity yeah the longer it gets the sweeter it becomes because i've read so many stories i've i read like a lot of stories and i've heard i've even watched so many videos of people that share their stories and they say maybe they are 15 years into marriage and you hear things like i love my wife much more than i loved her when i married her and in my head i'm thinking but they said that you will get tired of loving one person at some point in life and then they come out and say yes it is it, there are hard days there are days where you want to say get lost i don't want to be with you and there are days where you just feel like i'm not supposed to be in this marriage but the decision to actually stay and fix that problem and walk through you know the communication process that you guys are used to that works for you yeah would actually lead to you guys renewing or rejuvenating whatever feelings you guys have for each other which we eventually of course make it sweeter just like wine and um i think i think with the help of god Sha, because this matter eh, with the help of god we'll get it done we we'll get it done i've seen a lot of people come out and they they felt they felt cheated because their own concept or their understanding of love was that it was going to be nice it was going to be <laughs> going to be easy going and patient and then they got into it and it, it was a different ball game entirely so yeah love is a scam i think you have to you know have a good head on your shoulder and actually know what you're doing if not you're going to come out and be like what just happened to me what just happened to me here so um so yeah i'm just going to say that we should um evaluate properly if we're going to be in love sometimes love hit love hits you without you know your attention and all of that but i still think there's a you know there's a way that you know that uh, okay this is something that i know that i want to go into because um if you just take up anything that comes that life throws at you there's a possibility that you might not um like the end results yeah that comes with that decision with that being said on this episode please let me know what you think if love is a scam if you think um love is unconditional let me know with your reasons i'll be waiting to hear what you think and also let me know what you think please do not forget to subscribe like comment and share to your loved ones stay safe please have an amazing week ahead and this time next week we're going to be back again with an amazing topic for us to chit chat about have an amazing time thank you so much for staying this far for watching this video to the end i'm very grateful i love you and i appreciate you take care bye